of various um, mixtures together here. I'm going to use um, some some Sennelia pigment, um, dry pigment. I'm going to put that in to this mixture here. So back in the studio. Let's put some light on here. Um, yeah, so we're going to get on with it now. Um, got the mixture there. It's going to make quite a bit. When it's done, I'm going to pop it into this uh, new palette that I'm just going to use for homemade granulating paints. So. Quite excited about that. I'm not sure how much it's going to fill up. Probably at least one, maybe two of these half pans. Um, so there's the dry mixture. Let me uh, sort out outside. Here's my stone that I'm going to continue to use. And next, I'm going to be putting in um, some gum ar arabic. So we're going to add one teaspoon of gum amber arabic into this mixture. And then also one tablespoon, teaspoon rather, of honey. So we're gonna pop that in so we can see that. Runny honey. There we go. And then we're gonna mix. I may need to add some more pigment. We'll see how this goes. At the moment it looks quite thin. So we can mix it with a spoon. Let's get out a bit closer so you can see this beautiful mixture. And obviously it's got crushed stone in it, so we know it's definitely going to kind of granulate when this is uh, ready to paint. You can see the bits on it. <clears throat> I think I'm going to add some more um, dry pigment. Doesn't seem to be enough. Sennelia is a beautiful pigment. I'll pop some in here. Get mixing. That's feeling better. This can make up quite a lot of paint. Could add glycerine into it. And that's all other ingredients recommended. But I always find that this mixture is, just works well. Kind of see the gloopiness of that. Let's just 
show you again. One more time. Okay. I was going to use my stone in there, but I don't think I'll need to. I think inside this mortar. to go far. I'm gonna add, show you a little trick. Um, that's looking lovely, beautiful. Uh, by using some of the uh, blue ultramarine deep into this mixture, we're gonna create another color. Now, I don't want too much of this. This is kind of mix them by hand or mix them by eye if you like. Let's see what's gonna what we're gonna end up with. So we're going a bit darker, but I want to go darker still. And this should mix up a nice kind of amber. And we've got this done. I added um, more pigment in there. I'm gonna just pop in a little bit more gum arabic, about half a teaspoon, and about half a teaspoon of runny honey. There we go. Just to bind this up a bit more, we'll, we'll add some more pigment as well. Some more of this deep ultra, ultra marine deep again from Somalia. Still a bit runny. We're going to get a nice amber or sepia tone when we're finished. There we go. A little bit more. I'm going to add some of the uh, burnt sienna. You can see I'm guessing because I'm working fast. It's, uh, you don't need to be too precise about it. Can use your eye. And then we can pop some in. Where are we gonna put this? There's quite a lot of mixture here. Just having a little think. slightly darker because um, we've still got some more in there. The only trouble is if I put in too much pigment and it goes too dry. So I'll pop in some more blue. Make it a bit darker. Going 
very dark now. This should get us at least another pan. It's a half pan. Maybe two. Yeah, that's good. And the other thing we're going to put in, got a little dropper here with some India ink in. And add some India ink in. Not much. I don't know, probably three or four drops of India ink in here, which will darken up this a bit more and give it a slightly different mixture to what we had with that kind of burnt umber colour. That's nice and gloopy. And definitely darker. So, there we go. Um, I don't know if you can see tonally <clears throat> from this, but this is definitely um, darker. This is more like a sort of sepia. This is more like your, your burnt umber. Obviously that's your burnt sienna. But just from that one little mix, and we've got lots of um, bits of stone in there ground down, and we should get nice granulating effects from those paints. Uh, once we have a go with them. So thanks for watching. Um, I'll carry on making some more paint.